job interview. So it's like been a while. Get loose. All right, I look good. I know I look good. Hey everybody. We're gonna, I'm so excited we're gonna have an interview here today at uh, Stone's Hoffner's R Us. We've got a great interviewee coming in. I can't wait to get this going. He ought to be here any minute. Got some information here on him. This guy goes by the name Peanut. World famous Peanut. I can already tell this guy's a loser. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if he's gonna work out. But, you know, we're looking for a high-energy, self-motivated salesman for the job. So I'm hoping. I'm hoping he's the right one. Maybe if he is so full of himself, Mr. World Famous Peanut, I'm hoping he'll be just the guy for the job. So any minute now, he's running a little late. Oh, there he is. Let's go see. How you doing, sir? Well, how's it going? Come you on in, have a seat. Right? Thank you. I want to welcome you to Stool Softeners R Us. Oh, we're looking for a high energy, self motivated salesman. Well, well, I don't know if I, if I told you my name. Right. I noticed it said Peanut on your file. World famous Peanut. Yes, yes, it did. Yes, it did. Yeah. Uh, Oh, the last name is McLovin. 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 Yeah. Peanut McLovin. Oh. Peanut McLovin. Yeah. So, uh, let's tell you more about this this business that you have here. You said stool softeners. Stool softeners are us. Yes. Are you? Are you? Uh... <laughs> Good. This is gonna be it. Are you familiar with our product? Uh, me personally, no, but uh, I have a good friend of mine who's uh, who, who's a frequent flower miler, you know. What I mean? Oh, really? Yeah, uh, lots yeah. of stool softeners. Oh, uh, everywhere, yeah, everywhere, everywhere. everywhere. Okay, yes. okay. Yes. Uh, give us, yeah, give us a little information of him so we can uh, maybe you know, get him on board with us. Maybe he's a heck of a salesman. Uh, well, see, I, I wouldn't say a heck of a salesman, I mean, he knows the product. I, I wouldn't say a heck of a salesman. Uh, yeah, you know, I would say more like mediocre, at best. Mediocre, at best. That's now, good. now you said he, he knows the product. He only knows one particular product, oh. meaning the brand that he's by. So I mean, oh. I, you know, I, I don't know if he knows what's the best brand out there. Okay, okay. Well, nonetheless, the interview's not for him. Let's, uh, let's this get, is true. This is true. Let's get started. I want to start off with some. You know, we're just going to ask you some basic questions. Okay. All right. All right I'm ready. If I can find my. Uh, we're just going to start off with some basic questions. First and foremost, I'd like to ask you to tell me a little bit about yourself. Mm. Mm. Okay. Well, I like short walks to the fridge. Uh, I have some nice Alabama house shoes that I, I love a lot. Uh, I have a YouTube channel also. Really? Yes. I, you know, it says that on your file. I yes. I that. The, the map? Yes. Yes, the map. What is the map? What, what, what is that? Is that abbreviated for something? It's Are mobile you, you Alabama sell road maps. It, it's uh, on the side. I do sell road maps. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you're already in the salesman. Oh yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But but well, back to your original question, the, the map mobile Alabama's podcast, your place for misguided direction. Okay. This is kind of like Google Maps, but like we actually give you misguided direction. So it's not like. You, you, you Google Maps, you type in your, and you end up somewhere you're not supposed yeah, to be. Yeah. We're forewarning, let you know that you're not going to end up where you're supposed to be. So. That, that's that's uh, catchy. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I yeah, think so. It's good. It's good. Mm -hmm. We saw it on a bumper sticker, uh, back in the '70s on <laughs> oh. a, on a van. Okay. Yeah, had a lot of smoke on that. We. Oh, me and Fuzzy. Fuzzy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This your still softeners guy. Matter of fact, it is. How did I know? Nah. Mm. I don't know. Maybe you're psychic. Maybe. Maybe a little bit. I like where this I like the direction we're going in now. Hmm. It's not so misguided. No, no, no. We're no, in the no. right spot. Well give me your greatest professional achievement. I wrestled a bear. You wrestled a bear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Professionally. 
No, not professionally. Greatest professional. I call it professionally because I have to be wearing a wrestling suit the day it happened. I was eating a sandwich in a park with Boo Boo, and a bear came over and, and he tried to take my sandwich, and, and, okay. and we went toe to toe. Do you have a long term goal? My long term goal was be to get like the season 85 in Madden. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. If you were a tree, mm -hmm. what kind of tree would you be in the water? I, I think a pine. Yeah. A pine tree. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's a good tree. Why would you be a pine tree? Uh, because when you cut it and you make wood and you put stain on it, it looks as beautiful as I do when it comes up. Okay. All right. You've been given an elephant. Okay, let me visualize this. You can't give it away. Mm -hmm. You can't sell. Mm -hmm. What do you do? I've been given an elephant. I, I can't give it away. And I can't sell. What do you do with it? I'll bring it to an Alabama football game with me. <laughs> Roll time. Roll time. That's what you do with it. Well, this is going to conclude our interview. Uh, I mean, just fascinating answers. You answered everything. You know, that's what I do. Everything. Uh, the way I, I needed you to to be that you, you, you sound like you've got a lot of energy. You oh, sound yeah. self-motivated. You've been, done you've been quite a few achievements in your life. Mm -hmm. You've got great long-term goals. I did ride a pony one time. A pony. I did ride a pony one time. I think you're the man for the job. I think you're, oh, sweet, awesome. What is the pay? What is the pay? What is the uh, pay? Well, about we pay. didn't mention pay we, or we, benefits we, we, or anything like that. Well, I have four one. I asked the question. But that's at my prior that. job. But like, so. I'm going to need you to start today. What, hold on, you didn't ask me if I should put in a two-week notice. We'll get some paperwork done. What's the pay? I can't take the job not knowing whoa, what we get paid. Where are you working now? Huh? What, what job are you leaving now? What job am I leaving now? Yeah, where, where, are, you, where, are, you, where are you employed at this moment? I, I, I mean, because you, you, you filled out the application. Yeah. And you come in for the interview. Yeah. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah. I mean, we're ready to hire you on the spot. Now? Well, I have to put we're a two-week notice in. I have to put a two-week notice in. Where, where, where is this two-week notice going? Where, where, are you, where are you employed? I, I work at Richie's Car Wash. I clean out the vacuum cleaners. Richie's Car Wash? Yeah. You know the vacuum cleaners that you use to suck your car out? Yeah. I open the back of it and take all the trash out. That's my job. You are the perfect man for the job. Still softer as RS is where you need to but be. I, but what's the pay? Because right now I'm making 425 over there. 425. Yes. We'll do $5. Uh, just got a raise now, last week. Well, it's going it's to be commission. Now, now is it going to be sour? I mean, is it going to be like an hourly plus commission? No. You based off what you said. Now, who am I selling these tools to? All tools? over the area. No, am I selling to businesses or am I selling to individuals? Businesses. Like, yeah. Hey, am I selling a bulk to, to businesses? Like a Walgreens or yes. a Farmore? You'll be in and out companies all day long. Or, or like a KB Drugs? You, your job is to go into these companies. You walk in the building, you sell our product. We want it on every shelf. Every That's shelf they have in the store? Do. And every shelf and every store. Okay. And every single we one. We want to corner the market. And we know with the world famous peanut, we can do that. Bring your buddy Fuzzy but, but on like the how, but my, Here's my thing, though. Do, 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 have you done any kind of analytics or, or logistics to see how many people are like really in need of stool softener that you need all this? And what, what sets your stool softener apart from the rest? It works. What well, doesn't know other ones? No. How do you know? Research shows they do not work. Ours does. So we have the better product. So the only thing setting your stool softener apart is, from what you know is, it works. Numbers don't lie. We've got it all here. No, oops, it doesn't work. <laughs> We've got our numbers. It looks like not here on this particular. It looks like you have nothing. I, I've got it. So let me ask you. So how long have y'all been in business? Where is this interview no. going? It's you're going in the direction. I didn't know what I'm getting into. You're going in this out of direction. I, I, yes, I have. That's that's what. Hey, matter of fact, you need to subscribe to our channel. Look, 
here's my thing, is if you want to come work for this great company of yours, first off, your computer doesn't even work, so where do you get numbers from, and how long y'all been in business? Is this Windows XP? <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. Okay. Wait a minute. We have numbers to back up our data. Okay? You Another need to use some numbers to get a new computer is what you need to do. We have an excellent program. Okay? We need somebody like you to come on and get our product out. Bring Fuzzy along too. I'd like to meet this guy. So, alright. Speaking, I probably am a great candidate for this. How many other people have you interviewed for this stool softener job? We have 16 other salesmen. You would make 17. 16? 16 salesmen. We're looking to expand. We're trying to make it around 20. In what market? In what area? You will be involved in Baldwin County. And you will not have a salesman. Why? That's a great area. I'll pay the toll when the toll bridge gets built. You don't there have you to go. worry about that. There I'll, I'll cover the toll. There you go. Yeah. There you go. I got you. Well, you know, Baldwin County is a lot cleaner over there. Right. We're giving you a good area. It, sm like it. it smells. Good. Okay, I'm going to move that one guy that's over there. I'm going to put him over here. Move him out towards uh, Theodore, the Theodore area. And I can put you over there. I think you'll do a great job. But see, in, in my professional opinion, I think that the, the market really needs to be focused over here. In really the old folks' community. Because there's the ones really doing the stool softeners, right? Sure. Now, I'm just thinking out loud here, but have y'all ever tried to collab with some laxatives? You ever seen what happens to people that takes laxatives and stool softeners? I think it's a good time. At the same time? I think it's a good time. It's a party right there. Always remember. I mean, you, just turn the dirty faucet on. Always remember, if you take laxatives and stool softeners, bring a phone charger, a case of water and get ready to take some selfies and have some fun. It's a lot of stall time there. A lot. A lot. Hopefully you're at home when you did it. <laughs> Not at work. Well, you, know. you, better, you better hope they're open 24-7. <laughs> and the Motel 6, a little light on for you. It's going to be a good time. It is. So, I have 12 more interviews to do today. Hope I land one of them. Is there any more questions you have for me? I think we're done here. Again, welcome to the team. Go put your two-week notice in and we'll get you started. I, I guess we can wait on you to finish your vacuum cleaner draining, cleaning, whatever it is that you do. No, I empty out the vacuum cleaners at Richard Carl. Sure, yeah, we can wait on you to get done with all that. You make it a joke. That was my passion coming out of high school. That's what I wanted to do. And I did it, so it's over with now. That, that was the chapter of my life. Achievement. Yep. Yeah, it's a milestone right. is what I like to call it. A milestone. Yeah. Before then, it was McDonald's. I think it's fascinating. It should be. I'm sure you do a terrific job. Yeah, no one knows I'm there, but yeah, I do a terrific job. I mean, it, but it's mile setting. But you're here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Because what happened was I put my resume online. And then it just sent me to this address, and it said, "Here, go here for an interview." So I, I had no so idea. So you're looking for some change. You're looking for a new challenge. Yeah. Uh, I listened to this this soundtrack called "Change" from Sonny Bama back in the day. Yeah. And it really inspired me. So. Yeah, I'm looking for a change. Yeah, I've heard of him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you know, it inspired me. So, yeah. so that's why I'm here. Yeah. And I know it was about stool softeners, but hey. If his song's about change, I'm about change too. You know what? You give me seven twenty-five an hour, three weeks vacation, a I love Jesus T-shirt. Got a few of those around. Mm -hmm. I think we can do this. Seven twenty-five. Seven twenty-five an hour. Six fifty. Seven fifteen. Six fifty. Seven fourteen. Seven. 
Seven thirteen. Seven. Seven dollars an hour. And one stipulation. Name it. First, let me get something to drink. Seven dollars an hour. And you have to do the get up challenge by yourself. What is that? Go to my YouTube page and look at the get up challenge. I'm not taking this stinking job. What's the get up challenge? Ugh. Back to the drawing board.